Welcome back to another episode of Astro Pill. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to be playing more of the Rusty Lake slash Cube Escape series. I'm not exactly sure which name they go by, but uh, I'm sure either work. So um, I think this is coming out pretty much right after the previous iteration. So to repeat, uh, we've played Rusty Lake Hotel before, and then I just recently followed it up with um, Cube Escape Birthday. Now this is Cube Escape Theater, which is the last game in their recommended order to play it in, I believe, at least according to this thread I found. So um, if, if I end up really liking this and I wanna know more about the previous history, I may go back and play the game starting from the beginning, since this is, yeah, again, probably the last game in the series. So, uh, let's get started. I'm ready to find out more and see more horrible things and poo, lots of poo. So much poo in their games. <laughs> the lake is changing my memories. Yes. My past isn't what it seems to be. Mm -hmm. I will let the cubes guide me. No, don't do that. I, I let the... I let the cubes guide me in the last game, and I don't think that really worked out very well. So, I don't know about you, man, but I'd like to take life by the reins. I'd like to pick what floor I want to get off of. <laughs> okay, what horrific memory are we seeing now? If his ninth birthday was that horrible. Okay, I believe it was 1939 earlier. I can't math. Whatever 71 minus 39 is, that's how old... You know, that's the how many years have passed, and Dale is that many years old, and crud. <laughs> um, who knows? Are we Dale or Harvey? Because I thought we were Harvey and then we ended up being Dale and we are probably Dale now. Um, I love everything about their series. Like the way they do the transitions between screens, it looks really good. Um, I like all their puzzles. I like their presentation. I love the drawing style. I really like this series of games. Okay, wait, I need my handy dandy notebook. I don't know what I was trying to imitate there. Maybe some sort of children's show. Uh, I used to play Freddy Fish on the PC a lot when I was younger. I don't know if you guys know about that series for, by Humongous Entertainment, but I really loved it, specifically the one about the kelp treasure. And um, she'd always pick up stuff and be like, this will come in handy. And then I started quoting her all the time. And then some kid on the playground kept copying me. And I was like, you're such a poser. <laughs> Anyways, sorry to go on that long tangent, but uh, so we just have a basic one measure or one set, one octave is what I'm trying to say. Uh, and the C is marked. Okay. I don't really need to write that down. I can just keep that in mind. Uh, Bloody Mary, but the text is written very strangely, almost very simple. Like, ooh, some smooth jazz. I am digging this. I love jazz. Um, one times vodka. Hold on, let me lean in really close. I can't read the right one. Hold on a second. I don't think I'm supposed to be able to read that. It looks like Tabasco or something. Two times blood. Okay, cool. That's how you make a Bloody Mary. Obviously, you use real blood, <laughs> didn't you know? Um... Do I need to write this down? Okay, okay. Now I'm just gonna take in everything for now. I can come back to it later. Rusty Lake Theater Program. An introduction by Mr. Oh, the Lady of the Lake, the signs, the fish, and the parrot. An in intermezzo. Intermezzo by Mr. Crow. Remember the seasons, the mill. Oh, a lot of these are names of uh, previous titles, I believe. I do recognize some of these. Uh, geez. Okay, okay. Oh, cannot interact with this. Uh... Oh, can I plug this? Oh, wait, it's like an open cable, right? I'm totally going to electrocute myself. Ugh, not digging that. Uh, cannot interact with the plant. Okay, that's locked. Great. So here's the stage. There's a nice little sparkle. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm not digging that. That just makes me, obviously, you know, um, this this reminds me of like back back in the day, Chuck E. Cheese and stuff. You'd look behind the curtains and you'd see the animatronics and they're not moving. And of course, in modern day, you're going to think of Five Nights at Freddy's. But uh, I immediately just thought of the, the memories of seeing the Chuck E. Cheese animatronics behind. Oh, there's like actual people. Well, there were actual people in the previous ones, but never. I feel like. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I'm just shocked for some reason. OK, hello there, nondescript man. Leave me alone. I just want a drink. Okay, I understand. Can I take that thing out of your pocket, though? <gasps> I can. Did I? Like, he's like, leave me alone. I'm just like, okay, sure. And then I come closer and just, like, slide my, like, I just, like, ram my hand into his pocket. I'm like, Hua! without warning. He's like, oh, my Jesus freaking Christ. He's insane. Okay, who is this nice young lady? Oh, 
Dear Bob, as you know, I have not been feeling well for a while now. I will be staying at this lake I told you about from the previous game that is horrible and not good for my, um, recovery. Uh, I'm sorry this didn't work out. Perhaps we will meet in another life. Oh my god. Is it like, seriously, is it a place where you go to die and then like you believe in reincarnation and stuff? Like, oh my god. Okay, cool, cool. Hello there, good sir. Give that man a drink. Why don't you give that man a drink? I'm not the one standing behind the bar with the fancy suit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Screwdriver cocktail, two vodkas, two orange juice. Uh, but what does what does the man want? Okay. So I'm assuming this is orange juice. Okay. One, two. One, two. Okay. We got ourselves a screwdriver cocktail. That... That is not how you shake it. I don't think you just go, uh, I'm just gonna shake some condensation off of the container really quick. <laughs> Pretty sure that's not how you're supposed to do it. Also, is there like a freaking ghost bartender happening right now? Maybe he wasn't talking to me. He was talking to his ghost like coworker that runs helps run the place. Did I give you the right drink? Did I give you the wrong drink? Oh God, you just <laughs> right <laughs> that right up. Okay. Yeah. Are you Ew. Ew! Oh, he spit out a screwdriver! Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. So if I make him the other drink, he'll produce whatever other item that I may require of him. So if I... He'll spit out blood for me? Is that what I want from him? I mean, a Bloody Mary, you'd have to put blood in it, right? But I mean, a screwdriver cocktail, you don't put a screwdriver in it. So I guess he's giving me blood. It's the, the end. <sighs> End result. Okay, vodka and a thing that looks like Tabasco. I'm ready. I think it is Tabasco because I think in the Rusty Lake Hotel game, it was indeed Tabasco. Yeah, I, we thought it was a very, very strange product to be using. Oh, wait, I need to take his glass back. Wrong cocktail. Um, Maybe I'm supposed to put... Can I take your glass? Okay, thank you. Uh, Huh, I guess I don't need that right now. Okay. What? Yes. Oh. Okay. Uh, I guess I find the slots that the uh, blue one goes into and they can only move in specific ways like I can't oh oh it's not the same piece I see I see okay so some can only move vertically some only horizontally okay uh, so what can I move around to help me in this situation here we go alrighty perfect okay Dude, I'm seriously digging this music, and it fits perfectly because um, it's been raining a lot lately, which is really, really strange for California. That's just never a thing that happens here, but it's been raining a lot lately, and it's been very cold, um, but it's not unwelcome. It's 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 quite nice. Okay, uh, where the heck do I put anything? This is not helping me at all. That's entrapping the solution even further. Uh, what? What do I do? Where do I put this? What? Uh, I could put these here. Okay, I think I am getting somewhere. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I move these to the left, I move this up, and there we go. Perfect, perfecto, perfection. How many of these gosh dang layers are there gonna be? Okay, okay, I can do this, I can do this. You could do a Mac. You gotta slide the puzzles around. <laughs> yes, you're welcome. You get to listen to this while we're trying to just calmly solve some puzzles. It's gonna be a good time. Okay, um... Am I making progress? Am I going backwards? What have I done already that... What? Uh... uh okay, wait. Okay, if I slide... I think, I think this was already here. I might be going backwards. Alright, um... I am not good at keeping track of this. All right, this could go over here, but that'll do absolutely nothing for me. Good. Very good. I need to move this. Oh, yes! No, I've got it! I don't got it! Uh, I move this out of the way, and this, and then therefore... Uh... <laughs> dang it! I need to get this stupid piece out of the way. Like... No, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Poo! Poo it all. Speaking of which, when are we going to get to see some poo? Because, you know, that's that's a thing that always happens in this game. Somebody's poo's got something important. I still can't get over the boar from Rusty Lake Hotel. I can't believe that that was a thing. 
I, I'm sure it represented some sort of vice about greed and gluttony and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure each of them represented a vice, right? That would make sense. But um, that was still a really disgusting representation of it that I didn't really need in my life. But thank you for granting that experience upon me anyway. <laughs> Okay, I'm like, I'm like getting really stuck on this right now. Oh, oh, there we go. Talking about poo. That's, that's all I needed. Oh, here we go. So can I really just attach this on the end of that open wire? Is that really a good idea? A plunger. Why was, why were those two objects in there behind that very convoluted puzzle, mind you? Um, okay, there were symbols up there. So uh, before I look at anything else. So it's like, what is in this progression? Um... The left side is white, the right side's black, there's a bird and a human, a forest of fish, and a nondescript lump of a human. It's when a human gets mashed into potato bits and gets reconstructed. Okay, so what goes there? That I cannot make any sense of. It probably gets paired with something. Is this like an actual fish? It's like one of those singing bass that hang around. It's it's certainly not being very entertaining right now. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there. Oh, there are a lot of pictures. I think this was the same picture from a uh, Rusty Lake Hotel. There were some symbols on his vest in that game. Oh, hello. Hello, young lady. I don't think we got her name. That's creepy. Something's definitely gonna pop up. There's gonna be an eyeball or something that's like a voyeur's window or like when you can't see through it in the theaters, it's the top part. Man, these are all really just really go uh -huh. no, 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 no. I don't like that guy. I don't like that guy. Dead face. Okay, um so why are there X's on the C keys? Is it because it's telling you which C key to press? Okay, C D D E uh wait, D E uh, A A S A D dead face. Uh F, f, hold on, I haven't played a piano in a while. F, A, C, which C and E? C, E, E, oh, E. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Is that what I wanted to do? No! <laughs> no! Why are there all these hands coming from nowhere? I don't like it. Okay, you're gonna press that down for me? Hello? Yes? Yes, thank you. Da, 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 da. Do I press it at the same time as you? Wow. Oh, what? Da, da. Da, da, da. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. A uh, why? Ba, da, ba, da. Crap. Ba, da, ba, ba. Uh, ba da ba ba. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh god. Seriously, where are all these hands coming? From? I think in the past two games there have yeah there have been just random hands coming from nowhere. Maybe it's the same person. Maybe they have access to this really cool portal that just makes only their hand go in different places. I always like little music things, uh, m music puzzles. They're fun. Um. If, uh, I'm sure you've, you've all heard of that crazy, uh, the, the, I'm sure you've all heard of that game that blew up crazily, Undertale. There was a piano, um, puzzle in there, and it would have been very difficult for most people. It would have been for me, but my boyfriend, he, uh, has perfect pitch and has been playing piano for a long time, so all he had to do was listen to it, and he could just do it. I had no idea what he did, but he did it, and it was very impressive. I, I knew that a lot of people had a lot of trouble with it. What? Oh, it won't connect because it needs a connector piece, I suppose. Okay, I'm gonna leave that. Um, also, I the last one sounded like the uh, Zelda victory chime, except in a different key, but that was cool. Uh, speaking of keys, where do I put this key? I swear, is someone's behind there. Things are gonna pop up. I don't like all these jump scares and loud sudden noises. They're no fun. Do I stick a key into the slot? Oh, no, I don't. Sometimes, you know, they, they do that and they electrocute them and it's a great time. Screwdriver, screwdriver. I screwdrive the panel off. What? I was supposed to screwdrive the slot, the socket, and the open wire together? How? Is there a bolt for that? Does that make any sense? I don't know how these sort of things work, but whatever. I guess I won't question it. Okay, we have power running through the spotlight. It probably spotlights the curtain and it's going to open and there's going to be something scary behind it, but whatever. I'm ready, I guess. 
<laughs> oh, hi, you're not Mr. Owl, you're a sham, you're a fraud. Welcome to the theater of your mind. Ooh, I think it's the same voice actor, though. Thank you. My name is Mr. Owl. You are a sham! Unless, unless, all these animals throughout the games have all been representing real people, and now we're actually seeing them? I have In no this idea. this evening, I present to you six plays. Okay, okay. About the past. The present and the future. All right. It's showtime. I'm. I like how he says, "Like it's showtime." <laughs> yeah. Woo. Yeah. I'm ready. What is this? Some kind of like third grade play or something like that? They're gonna be like, "I will defeat you, Mr. Owl." The oh. Of the lake. It's the peacock or pheasant. Hello. Oh, beautiful. All my heartstrings are being tugged on right now. Yes. Oh God, is it her? Is her head? Oh my God, is her jaw gonna unhinge? I'm scared. Oh yes. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> Why? Is, am I supposed to stop clicking on her? Should I stop clicking on her? Let me back out. She's she's fine now. Should I keep clicking on her till her head rip, rips off? I'm gonna do it. Da -da 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 -da. Was I supposed to do that? Hi, did you just, what is happening? Did you do, nice practical effects. That that was very convincing. <laughs> um, oh. Balance the substance of my past life. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, am I supposed to know exactly how, do I need multiple objects for this? Can I put a plunger in here? No, I cannot. I cannot put a cocktail glass. Maybe there are objects around here that relate to her life. Or am I really just using the hat? Um, oh, what is that? What was that? Wait, what was- No, no, I wasn't done yet. What is that? Oh, it's the top of the hook. Okay. Um, I'll stick it in all of them just to see what happens for now. Okay. Huh. Okay, so nothing happens if I put them in all three. And she's just gonna tell me the same thing. So, I better look around the room. That was very disturbing. Seriously, was that, did you, did you really do that? Is that the magic of the makeups and the shows and things? Okay, I'm assuming I'm done with this. Um, So I haven't done anything with this yet, but I still, oh. Oh, there are different sim, okay. There are different symbols than the ones on the wheel. So I do not need to figure that out as of yet, I suppose. Hello, sir. What do you want, detective? I'm a detective? Unless he's just calling, he's like being a wise guy because I'm like running around, snooping around. He's like, what do you want? You detective or something, huh? Let's see. I can't believe I can just keep pulling this out. It's very, this is a very, very personal postcard. It's about like heartbreak and like possibly a dead person, that you know? looks like he could use another drink. Why don't you get it for him, okay? Unless you're talking to the ghost bartender. In that case, that's fine. Because, you know, ghost bartender is pretty cool. Okay, um, so now that he says he looks like he could use another drink, perhaps now I can put this together. So I'm pretty sure that's the recipe that I will actually need blood, so it can't just be vodka and um, Tabasco. Let me give it one more shot. So vodka and Tabasco. And what is that top right one that's gin? Okay, gin, Kalula, orange juice, and hold on a second, the bottom right says tonic, got it. So if I click this, it's gonna say it's the wrong drink. Okay, I'm gonna need to get some blood, most likely from a human that is going to produce it because this always happens. Okay, what else can I, so I don't need this anymore. What's with the, why, was, why did it need to show me the C? key with the x is it because if like people don't know music it's an easier marker for that i'm unsure um still not sure what's going on oh 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 uh pictures on the wall pictures on the wall okay okay so i'm gonna draw this wheel really quick okay okay so there's this wheel and um there's a lump i'm assuming that's the woman okay okay wait pie chart pie chart i got this you guys okay um, I don't think I drew that out correctly. Crap. <laughs> Whatever. Question mark and a the crow 
and a black shadow, which is the worst one. I hate that picture. Um, there's some branches, the forest, and a fish. Right, there's the fish. Okay, great. So um, if I can recognize my horrific drawings, I'm going to go back and what's... So the question mark is which one I'm missing or which one... Um, or the or can I replace the order of the painting? Because I cannot. So, okay. Human girl is the, is the second one. Okay, and then there's fish... And then there's forest, the red forest, and then the black shadow on the right, and then the crow. So what is the missing picture that is black? Okay, does it have to do with their frames? Is it something to do with the elements, number of elements in the photos? What is it? Do I look at them in the right order? What if I look at it in the right order? Probably won't do anything. Okay, girl, fish. Uh, I mean, if I click on them, nothing happens. Girl, fish, forest. Um, yeah, nothing, forest. Creepy shadow, I don't want to stare at it for too long. Oh my god, it's literally boring into my soul. That's scary, I don't like it. Uh, hi, Mr. Crow. So then here's the last one. Uh, something's gonna punch through it and scare the crap out of me. Can I plunger it? Can I, what do I, what can I plunger, actually? Um, huh. Let's see if we can figure that out before we have to end off. Um, okay, so I already made this. And I don't think I need a second screwdriver, right? I mean, why would I need that? Why would I just throw away the other one? I, again, I still don't know what I need to use the key on. And I'm pretty sure I need to solve some puzzles before I can help her with that situation. Um, oh, wait, I'm so silly. Oh, I am so silly. Okay, what's in here? Poo time! <laughs> okay, second glass. Oh. Good. Very good. This is where I bleed the heart out. Okay. I'm going to go make that cocktail in the next episode. Yes, I'm just going to get this possibly beating, still beating human heart. Uh, what is it labeled? Is it labeled human heart? Just a heart. Just a heart. Nondescript heart. <laughs> I'm going to squeeze out every last ounce of the blood and drink and feed it to the depressive man and he's going to turn into a demon and make a contract and man this game is dark but i love it but i'm i'm really scared of all the possible jump scares that are going to happen i'm really terrified <laughs> okay and with that i will see you in the next episode this is axis over and out